I've got a little interesting thought for you today. To lie or not to lie? Now, I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that I grew up in a family who, they were pretty good liars. I mean, they just rather lie than tell the truth. And as I got older, I started realizing how much my family lied. And it made me say, oh, whenever I'd hear anything, I'd have to say to myself, now, is this truth or is this not truth? I, you know, it just was a constant, constant battle. And uh, when I was thinking about doing this, it's I thought of Proverbs 19.9, A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. The people that lie, how, the, how will they perish? Well, when you get caught in your lies, it's embarrassing. It ruins your reputation with people. Oh, it's awful. Well, I was listening to a psychologist of some kind and heard this these three points of why people lie, and I thought I'd share them with you. In case you have somebody in your life that lies, or let's be honest, maybe you're somebody that has a tendency toward lying. Now, I, I believe that I have overcome lying because I, I made sure that I didn't, I saw how sinful it was, you know, from seeing it growing up so much. But still, you know, it's easy to lie. And these are the three reasons why they said you lie. Number one, life is boring. So because life is boring, people lie to embellish. Like these people in my life growing up, um, I would be involved in the stories they were telling. And when they told the stories, I didn't recognize them because they embellished so much. They added to, so much to it, either to be in, either to make themselves look good or to um, be entertaining or to be funny. You know, they just embellished. Because life was boring for these people. Number two, why do you lie? Because you want to escape accountability. Now, I do remember very much as a teenager, as soon as somebody had asked me something, I'd say I didn't do it. Well, I didn't even think about it. I knew I was going to say I didn't do it because I didn't want to get punished. I didn't want to get yelled at. I didn't want to get told I told you so. You know, sometimes we do it to escape uh, the consequences, but it's still wrong. So lie to escape accountability. The third way is to get access to what they what they ha what they don't have. You know, maybe they will lie to get care or to get love or to get recognition from people. They 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 don't they lack something in their life, so they lie to get those things, which there's not really any of these three reasons. It's not good reasons. It's you it might be human, but it's not right. You know, one of the things that I've realized is people that lie they don't know the Bible because John 8, 32 says, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Not lies. You know, they haven't realized that their lies put them in a prison of their own tales. Then, they're, then they have to remember what they've told people. They have to remember what they've, uh, to follow through on what they're saying. So lies is, is its own problem. And it makes you perish, just like Proverbs 19, 9 says. But, just like um, Jesus would say, he said, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So, let's not lie. You know, let's make a determination today that we're going to be extremely honest. Because the truth is what makes us free. Which gives us freedom to be what we need to be and to be to others what they need us to be. And we don't have to have a good memory when we don't lie. So, no matter if you're the person that lies or you have people in your life that lies, let's realize why they do it. I, don't, I know I had to be patient with those people in my life that lied. But... Also, I used it in my own life to make sure that I didn't become a liar. So, whatever you need, do it today and realize that truth shall make you free. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.